Welcome to Black Street Stories. My name is Austin. If you know me, you know I accidentally took my teacher snake one day. Senior year of high school? Yeah, that was senior year of high school was this science class. Sophomore year is when I lit the garbage can on fire, which I don't believe I told yet. That's a, that's a fun one. Anyway, senior year of high school, I was in a science class with the same teacher as the one who I lit the garbage can on fire. She taught multiple classes. She's amazing. Everyone loved her because she was amazing. A little crazy, but amazing. <laughs> in conclusion amazing she had a pet snake which i for some reason always called snakeums don't know where the name came from don't know why i called it that wasn't its name i actually don't know what its name was but i always called it snakeums and every so often i'd be like hey do you mind if i take snakeums out she's like yeah that's fine to where everyone in the class is now calling the snake snakeums not its real name so when i'm like you know what i'm gonna take the, the snake out and just let it so they're around near my stuff so without even asking her Take the snake out before she gets there. And I just kind of put it near my binder uh, that's on, like, the table. Since science class, I always had tables instead of desk. And the snake's, you know, sitting around, going in my binder, weaving around and stuff. I'm like, okay. And she's like, all right, we're going to do notes. So I just turn the lights off, puts on the projector. So now we got the notes going. It's like, okay, this is perfect. She doesn't, she can't see anything with the lights being off. And she's looking in the notes. She doesn't notice the snake. So I'm watching the snake. Its head is poked out one side of the binder. It's tail and butt sitting on the other side of the binder. And then I watch it take a pretty big dump. And have you ever seen a snake poop? It is disgusting. And we're going to go, oh no, how, how do I deal with this right now? Uh, what do I do? So I did what any normal person does. I opened my binder, opened like the three rings, took the snake out, nonchalantly walked back to his cage, put it in his cage, and on the way back, I grabbed a bunch of paper towels. But since you can't just grab paper towels quietly, she's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, oh, the snake poked, we're just cleaning it up. She's like, okay. Continues on. I clean it up. I spray some hand sanitizer around, you know, to sanitize the snake poop. So I dust clean. And after class, about two weeks, she goes, oh, hey, so what was going on? I'm like, oh, well, the snake pooped. And I cleaned it up. Don't worry. It's all sanitized and everything's fine. She's like, oh, okay, good. Thank you for cleaning it up. At no point did she ask me, why was the snake out? Or... Why did you take the snake out? Because you didn't have permission to have the snake out in the middle of class. Or even, you can never play with the snake again. She never questioned it. I don't know if she ever really cared. And I never got in trouble. Somewhere with the garbage can story. <laughs> I never did take the snake out without permission after that. Because I... It was just one of the things where I'm like, you know, snake pooped. I learned my lesson. I'm only going to ask for permission now. <laughs> ah, good times. That was a fun snake. I might tell the garbage can story pretty soon then. Probably not next week, since next week's Father's Day. I'm going to do a father-related story, kind of like how I did with Mother's Day. Either way, in conclusion, snake poop's disgusting. And don't just take snakes out of their tank without permission, because then they'll poop on you. Well, they'll poop near your stuff. Luckily, I didn't get down anything. I was very happy about that. Enjoy this video. See you next time. Also, just want to add, I realized in a few of my last stories that the audio was terrible and there was like something in the background. Turns out my microphone wasn't plugged in properly and I was recording with my laptop's mic instead of my mic mic and that's why it's happening. So hopefully this time we don't have background sounds because I'm actually using the mic. Crazy, I know.